Good day, everyone. I'm Devi, and again, we are still in module six. And in the previous topic, we talk about social mobilization continuum, and we defined it as the process of bringing together all feasible and practical intersectoral social allies to raise people's awareness of and demand for a particular development program. Thus, it also aims to strengthen community participation for sustainability and self-reliance. Now, let me discuss to you the process of implementing social program. But before that, when designing a social mobilization project, it is important to produce key strategical method so that it is more easy to let your community participate. This can be done maybe through a basic conversation or evaluation method, workshop method, communication, action planning, stakeholder analysis, and mapping. But before I proceed, I'll give you some definition um, on the mentioned strategical method. Um, evaluation method. Uh, this method is very useful when you are trying to assess problems and needs. Participatory monitoring and evaluation. Uh, this is also includes group discussions, resolving difficult issues and conflicts, and leading effective meetings. The next one is the workshop method. This method is very useful when you are trying also to assist, again, to assess problems and needs, identify solutions and projects, formulate project tasks and responsibilities. This method also is very helpful when you are try trying to manage and run projects. And also, it enthusiastomize people. Okay, next is community action. To develop uh, this method helps develop a plan on a par very particip participatory way, uh, which has the support of everybody in the group and where people commit themselves towards implementing activities. Um, the planning process has both elements of midterm and operational planning in itself. The next one or the last one is mapping. Um, this method is very useful when you are trying to identify stakeholders for a particular project. It also provides deeper insight on who should be involved and not be involved in your project. Okay, to give us a clearer in overview, our handbook gave us the eight-step cycle. And here are those eight step cycle one is to get to know the community analysis uh, decision making identification identify mobilizers or leaders project implementation uh, follow up and monitoring and then the last one is evaluation okay one is to get to know the community get to know the community means provide information create interest assess community needs issues, resources, and gather information. Okay, to ensure a fact information, of course, you need to do fact checking. Uh, a immobilizer may use some key informant interviews, like is the community lack of equipment, training, motivation, compensation, and incentives. Or if the issue that you are targeting um, it's more about education. So, for example, um, you, you can um, use an informant interviews like, um, is there a few teachers or how many number of students? Or if it's healthcare, um, is there few health workers in that particular community or has limited materials or poor logistical um, support and so forth? Next is analysis. Here, uh, a mobilizer needs to identify resources, um, identify future problems and conflicts, challenges, identify solutions and projects. Um, the basic analysis 
template is the SWOT analysis. I, I know, I'm sure that every one of us knows what SWOT analysis, what SWOT analysis is. Um, but here I am trying um, to give you some example um, in SWOT analysis. So here you are trying to brainstorm the strengths, weaknesses, the opportunities, and the possible threats that hinders the program. Say for example, uh, I am targeting issue about lifestyle here in Alabama. Um, strength is we are the global hub call centers, information, technology, and accounting. Um, um, information technology and accounting provider. Our weaknesses is there is a large proportion of number of the number of population mostly in the informal sector. Um, opportunities would be um, we have easy access to central business district such as Makati, VGC, Mandaluyong. Um, threat would be we are highly vulnerable of natural disasters um, such as typhoon. Um, it causes our canals here in Alabang to overflow, um, emit bad odor also. We also experience emit bad odor of Laguna Lake, Lake every summer due to water lilies. So those are examples of um, doing a brainstorming analysis or analysis or using the template of SWOT analysis. Okay, next is identify mobilizers. Um, when you are trying to identify mobilizers or community leaders, of course, a, pot a potential mo social mobilizer must meet specific criteria. So, for example, if you choose the issue about community health problems, of course, a mobilizer or a community leader must have experience in health-related related issues. And the other one is follow-up and monitoring. So once you implement a social mobilization program, it needs to be properly monitored um, by measuring progress. Programs and activities can make decisions and adjust plans based on evidence or what you have experienced. Okay. Next is decision making. Um, with this method, we introduce number of skills and knowledge. Um, this combines the different insights in a group towards effective cooperation, group brainstorming, and mapping. Next is identification. Um, identification is a very useful um, method. Um, you are trying here to assess problems, needs. You are trying to find or identify solutions um, of your project's problem. You are trying to formulate project task and responsibility. Um, this project, uh, this method also is very helpful when you are trying to manage and run your project. Um, project implementation. Project implementation answers how, when, what are you going to do, or what time to accomplish your goals. Um, and this method is very useful and powerful um for planning any kind of project and the last one is evaluation um evaluation is the basic conversation in which people feel free to share their views feelings and insights to assess um problems and needs okay the goal of evaluation is to check and to reflect the progress of your project, um, to analyze what has been done or what should not be done, what should be improved, and what are the new steps should be taken in the coming 
period. Okay, that's the end of my presentation. Um, I hope uh, you guys learned something. And after watching this video, kindly answer my DQ posted in this section model. And would love I would love to hear all your answers. Thank you.